We went through all of last season hearing about how bad Graham Mertz was going to be. And it seems like folks are starting to double down on it. But is UF's quarterback being disrespected due to them not being expected to be very good this upcoming year? So what happened, right? Okay. Brad Crawford of 24-7 Sports listed his top 25 quarterbacks in college football. And surprise, surprise, Graham Mertz was not on the list. I'm going to talk about Graham Mertz a little bit more here in a moment, but let's take a look at the list to see who was included before we go on. Okay. 25, we've got Nico at Tennessee. Guys, he hasn't even thrown 50 passes in his career. Okay. Moving on. KJ Jefferson at UCF at 22. Uh, Listen, I know that he was pretty good at Arkansas. I think that he overall is a decently talented player. We haven't seen him at UF. It's or UCF. It's a new school. It's a new scheme. It's a new system. There's probably not the same level of talent surrounding him as there was at Arkansas. Just kind of a lot of question marks. Same thing as Nico in Tennessee. Question marks. These will be new starters at their program. Rylan Leonard, 21. Okay, another guy that will be new at his school. He transferred from Duke to Notre Dame. DJU at FSU is 19th. Please give me a break. He was not good at Clemson. He was okay at Oregon State. Florida State just lost like half their team, but he's going to be better than Graham Mertz. Okay. Grayson McCall at NC State is 18th. Again, another transfer. Number 16 is Brady Cook at Missouri. So listen, not to take away from these quarterbacks in any way. I just don't think that they're better than Graham Mertz. And let's talk about Mertz's stats from 2023. These are all NCAA rankings. He was third in completion percentage. He was 14th in completions per game. He was 17th in pass efficiency. And he was 25th in passing yards per game. Not too shabby, right? All of those stats I just listed, top 25 or better. I want to talk a little bit about what he brings outside of just stats, because I do think that Graham Mertz brings some things to the table that are not measurable on paper. But let me get a a little bit of love to Melvin Law first. If you are hurt or in an accident in Gainesville, Ocala, Fort Lauderdale, or Lake City, let the official injury firm of the Florida Gators take care of you. I appreciate Meldon Law for their support of our channel. And if you do as well, make sure that you're following them on social media to stay up to date on everything that they've got going on, from giving away uh, tickets and prizes, and then just information as well. You do not want to miss any of it. I'm going to link their info down in the description, so make sure that you give them a follow. Meldon Law means so much to the Gators and so much to this channel. All right, let's talk a little bit more about Graham Mertz. Speaking of meaning so much to the Gators, listen, his stats were great, but his stats are not the end of the story. He is a leader for this team. He is a calming effect. He is a hyping effect. If you know that's what's called for, he is a uh, really kind of total package quarterback for Florida. We talked about how he was going to be a game manager going into last season and how we had some offensive weapons. So as long as we had a game manager, that should be enough. We underestimated him. Graham Mertz ended up being more than a game manager. He ended up being a leader. He led a comeback against South Carolina. Florida was down 10 in the fourth quarter. Huge passes to pull this off. He left it all out on the field against Missouri, so much so that his season ended due to his high effort play. Remember when he just got just completely pancaked, but got that first down, broke his collarbone. He left it all on the field. Never slowed down, despite the fact that Florida's offensive line was not great last year. He took a beating week in and week out during that SEC play, came back for more, threw a total of three interceptions the entire season, and two of them were tipped passes that I wouldn't even call his fault. He was the only reason that the Georgia game was even respectable. He threw for 230 yards, two touchdowns, and a nearly 75% completion percentage against Georgia. Georgia. 
Now, obviously, Mertz means a lot to this program because of the way that he proved doubters wrong. But I just don't get not having him in your top 25 quarterbacks. It just seems strange to me. He's returning. And I know Florida wasn't great last year. And I understand that we have a gauntlet of a schedule this year. And there's not many people that expect Florida to have much better of a record than they did last season. But Graham Mertz is a weapon for this team. And he is a returning leader. And he's a proven commodity compared to some of those names on that list. And I I just, I get it. I get the people that are down on UF. But he proved last year he's a legitimately good quarterback. And he's the reason UF was able to compete in a lot of their games. What I don't understand is that we just heard so much last offseason about how bad he was. He was the worst quarterback in the SEC. And then he goes and proves everyone wrong about all of that. But now here we are getting ready for the 2024 season, and they still aren't respecting him. There haven't been as many things to fight about over these last couple of years, but listen, Graham Mertz is absolutely one of them. And maybe I have a soft spot for him after the way he left it all out there on the field last year. I always have such a high level of respect for players that are willing to really put their body on the line for the logo on the front of the jersey. And who knows, maybe I'm just ready for football. I know, I know, I know, it's only March but I'm ready now. I'm not sure. But to not have Mertz up there in the top 25 with some of those other picks just doesn't sit super well with me. And I just needed to get that off my chest. Do you guys feel like I do? What are your thoughts? What do you think about the other names on that list? Florida's going to see a lot of those quarterbacks on that list next season. And we have experience with seeing a lot of them last season. Where would you have Mertz if it was your ranking system? You get to decide who the top 25 quarterbacks are. Personally, I think he would fall somewhere in the 11 to 20 range, probably towards the beginning part of that. I don't know that he is one of the best in the sport, but I think that he is certainly better, but even more importantly, more proven than some of the other guys on that list who got thrown in there. I think that last year, Florida took a lot of heat about how they were going to have such a hard time at the quarterback position because Graham Mertz was just not it. But he was a bright spot in a bad season for Florida last year. Graham Mertz was a leader. He helped Florida win games as opposed to lose them games. And I think he deserves to be on that list. All right, let me know. I want to know where you think he should be. Let's talk about it down in the comments below. I will make sure I respond to you guys. I think this is a hot button issue, and I think we need to stand up for Graham Mertz here a little bit. So let me know down in the comments, where should he be ranked? Thanks for tuning in, and as always, go Gators.